Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more of the Fell Xenolog DLC in uh, Fire Emblem Engage and we're going into Xenolog 5. I just hope Neil actually killed Lear. Is that bad to say? <laughs> I mean we know that didn't happen but... <laughs> Will you defy fate? Brush off despair? And forge bonds with your allies? Will your other half remain by your side? The kings and queens have vanished like melted snow, like wind-swept sand. The writers think they did something with these lines. Who remains? A familiar stranger. A loved one whose name you don't know. One knows the truth. In this world, there is no emptiness. Your dream will not come true. Lady Nell isn't coming out, is she? Sitting alone under a tree, not saying a word? Never seen her withdraw like this before. She has been there for half an hour. Perhaps we should offer our aid. Mavir, you really don't understand the tenderness of the heart, do you? I... I... I do not follow. Lady Nell just revealed her innermost feelings, a love she has kept concealed for years. Hold up. Okay, no, they're still in the mountains, right? Okay, for a second I thought they teleported us to the desert, and I was like, this is happening directly after the last scene, and we're... Yeah, but no, they're still in the mountains. It's only natural she might need some time to herself after that. Ah, oh, I see. People's hearts are fragile when they're in love. You gotta be gentle with them, big guy. Sounds like you speak from experience, Gregory. Have you been in love before? Nope. But I hear it's as terrifying as it is exhilarating. You? Me? Uh, uh, well, I, uh... Oh, she's certainly <clears throat> not in love with you. What was the question? I hate leaving Love Lord Nil and the there. Divine Dragon Go back and look alone at it. for this long. It's great. But she needs time. If only there was some way to reunite Lady Nell with her love. We all know how deeply she cared for the Divine Dragon. Yeah, but that was the other Divine Dragon, not this one. You think I don't know that? I just... want to see Lady Nell happy. She deserves every happiness. Yes. A loyal attendant always wants the best for their liege. That I can comprehend, even if the tenderness of the heart is beyond my grasp. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. <laughs> and I hope you all know I care about you just as much as I do her. I want us to stick together and keep each other safe. I don't know why, but I love so much that Mavir is so basic that he doesn't have an opposite. He's just exactly the same. Thank you all for giving me that space. Please, Lady Nell, think nothing of it. You feeling better? Very much. Thank you for giving me the time to reflect. I suppose I never fully dealt with the loss of the one I loved so dearly, but I deeply regret the trouble I caused. I should have told you about the corrupted royals. Um, this is the part where I remind you all that the, um, the divine dragon she loved is her sibling. They may not have known it, but it's the truth. So, <sighs> intelligence systems really can't help themselves, can they? You are my trusted confidants, and I should have known to rely upon you. You honor us, Lady Nil. No doubt Lord Nil would also be comforted by those words. Of course. I owe the Divine Dragon an apology as well. My behavior has been frightfully rude. Accidentally I incest. hope we will be able to begin anew as friends. I think that's a great idea. Let's hurry back to the others. They must be tired of waiting. I will meet you properly this time, Divine One. I will finally set aside my grief for the one I lost. And see you for the person you truly are. I just want Nail to be a good unit. Why didn't the developers make her decent? Here we at are. Least? Divine One? Nil? That's strange. 
There's no one here. Are we in the wrong place? I don't believe so. We walked the right direction, and I remember the scenery from earlier. I hate to raise the possibility, but there may have been an ambush. Sister! Everyone! I'm so glad you're back. Fuck you, Neil. Nell, what a relief to see you safe. I mean, I was saying that earlier in the playthrough, but uh, doubly so now. We have a problem. The bracelets are gone. Gone? How? The Divine Dragon took them and left. I fear the plan is to finish this alone. Then we must begin our pursuit at once. I managed to cast a simple tracking spell before we parted. The trail should still be active. I regret that I lacked the courage to give chase. In truth, I feared being separated from you all. I hope you can forgive my cowardice. There is nothing to forgive, Nil. You made a wise decision. If you can show us the way, please do. Of course. This dire state of affairs is entirely my fault. <sighs> We have now crossed into Solm. I cannot begin to fathom the Divine Dragon's objective. It is very close. In fact, the trail of my spell ends... right here. Some kind of temple. Let us enter. It is dim in here. Watch your step. You are certain this is where the Divine Dragon is now? Reasonably certain. <gasps> Behind you! Corrupted? Oh boy. A lot of them too. We will take them on. Stay behind me, Nil. <laughs> Nil? Your consideration is appreciated, dear sister. But I do not require your protection. Is this the part where the anime villain explains his devious plot instead of just murdering them? He could literally stab them all in the back right now, but... Alright, let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. I confess, I always rather despised that about you. Your superiority. Your condescension. I do like the VA change, though. This voice way better than the soft Neil voice. What? <laughs> the look on your face. Wake up, Nell. The Divine Dragon is not here. Explain what you mean by this. Lord Nil, are the corrupted here your doing? No. It was a mistake, surely. Lord Nil didn't know where he was taking us. Is that what you think? Perhaps this will change your mind. Emblem Krom. He should be in slumber. Must I spell it out? Your unknown malefactor has the power to awaken emblems. And here he stands before you. I am no powerless failure. I will fulfill the late Lord Sombron's ambitions. But you are my brother. We have always been together. Two halves of a whole, you cannot be our enemy. Who else could it be? There is no one left. All of our siblings are dead and gone. I dispensed with the lot of them myself. With one exception, of course. <laughs> Has it all become clear to you? Good. Farewell then, my dear sister. Enjoy being buried with your four little breezes. In the first episode, did we end up killing the hooded figure who we think is Fagato? Um, if so, then the only royal left is Hortensia. And we haven't seen her yet. I am off to sink my teeth into your darling divine dragon. But that's what Nell wants to do. How could you? Lady Nell, please. We must focus. 
None of this makes any sense. But the Corrupted won't wait for us to figure it out. They are many, but we are strong. Once I transform, Nil has my dragon stone. And while we are cornered here, the Divine Dragon is in grave danger. I forgot that he held her dragon stone. Lady Nell, leave this to us. No, Celestia. We may not all make it out of this, but the four of us can create an opening for you to escape. Quickly, you must get away from this place. Go to the Divine Dragon! No, I will not leave you here. Celestia is right. You have to go. You are the only one who can stop Lord Nil. We've always been the ones running away. Let us be heroes for once. It'll be an honor to ensure your safe passage. Now, Lady Nell, hurry! <sighs> Farewell, my dear Four Winds. Hear me and obey. Survive until we meet again. That is an order. We won't let you down. Okay. Here I am, Divine One. Nell. My dear sister and her precious four winds have now been dealt with. You cannot bite me. Only Nell can bite me. Get out of here, Nell. <laughs> no. Well, if that's true, you should just kill me. But I don't think you have it in you. You're wrong about that. But you still have a part to play in this. Come along now. I'm not going anywhere with you. Is that right? You said I have a part to play. What if I refuse to cooperate? I won't do anything that helps you win. <gasps> How can you be so cruel? Does the love of my sweet sister mean nothing to you at all? I'd already begun to think of you as family. You've cut me to the quick. You can stop your lies now. <laughs> Nothing escapes your notice. But if you intend to resist, I can simply force you. Do your worst. I won't give in. I suppose there is only one way to know. Shall we find out together? <sighs> now? How? Divine One, you are alive. Now! You actually left the Four Winds to die? I ought to have seen that coming. No, stop this at once. Father is dead. There is no longer any need to carry out his wishes. I know his ambitions are not your own. It is meaningless for us to fight. Meaningless? You know absolutely nothing of my ambitions. Come forth, my corrupted. Give a weakling just a little bit of power and they turn into this piece of shit. But there... There's Hortensia, and there's Fagato. The assassins from Lethos Castle. That attack was your doing all along. Of course. You dared mock our Lord Father's ambitions. It was my duty to kill you, failure. Enough. Take up your weapon. See for yourself whether this fight has meaning. This is not who you are, Nil. will beat the good back into him. Okay, this looks interesting. What in the hell is this? An impassable barrier. Okay, so you're stuck in your own little cell here. You're in a room fighting freaking Neil. Okay. Alright, what is gonna happen here? Because these two can't take him. Okay, there's Fagato. He's got, um... I don't remember her name. Heroes Girl. Um, 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 Hector... And you have, you have, um, Crumb. Okay. 
Okay, there's a four chests on this map. Holy shit. This is going to be a long one, guys. All right. Ooh, this is a big map. So, yeah, this is going to be a long one. Okay. We've also got Split Party. Luckily, they're giving us a decent amount of units here. We don't have to use the hounds? Oh my gosh, bring me joy! Oh, this is gonna be the best map ever then. <laughs> that should not be the reaction that I have to this map. <laughs> but look at that, Nailer Lear's defeated. No four, four, four hounds, they're the four winds. They're, they're the four hounds. Okay, reinforcements are going to be coming this way. That's for damn sure. Um, okay. Still can't inventory. Um, shit, I can't inventory a Leer either? Okay, bunch of elixirs, so they did do something to help us out at the very least. He's got nothing. I'm wondering if we're gonna have to break him out somehow and then he'll be able to convoy once these barriers go down. Um, I did have one comment that just said, it was just, it was just, it said one thing. It said, on Xenolog 5, give Sigurd to Nail. Believe me. I'm gonna believe you, bro. I'm going to believe you. Sigurd. Okay. Um, can't give anything to Alir. All right, but he'll still have his engage plus. So there's that. Um, let's pick our, our units since we actually get to choose units this time. Oh my gosh, look, we get to bring in units that we want. I may actually be bringing in Seedal for this. We can bring in Mavir. <laughs> Alright, if we're bringing in one more, who's it going to be? Um, we can have multiple healers. You'll be able to do some healing. You'll be able to do some healing. You'll be able to do some healing. So we don't need to bring Fram in. Seedal, he can probably take Micaiah and add some more healing even. So I think we have plenty of healers, so let's bring in an attacker of some kind. So it might just be Yunaka or Gold Mary. You know, with, with adjusted base stats... Gold Mary's got more speed, more strength, slightly less debts. She's got more defense. The only thing she doesn't really have is as much resistance, but her resistance is still in a decent place. As much as I want to bring in Yunaka, I think like Marin's got better stats in this DLC, and Gold Mary's got better stats. Is there anybody we're leaving behind down here that um, actually has skills and stuff? No, those are all backline units from my main story, so. All right, I think this is who we're bringing in. Um, I mean, the one thing that we're missing right now is, I mean, I guess you have a rank swords, so we have a sword wielder. Technically, two, because Marin can use swords as well. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. 
It makes me happy to bring Panette in. And that does not affect you. You already had nothing, so we can't do anything about that. Okay. So we're going to need things to hit heavies, because these guys count as armored as well. So there's going to be lots of armored units. Not seeing a lot of uh, cat. Well, I guess these are cavalry, right? Do they count as ca cavalry? I don't know if these do, because they're not wolf knights. They're just corrupted wolves. Allies of the same class's unit within three spaces participate in chain attacks. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, you're like the only cavalry unit, so... Nope, not optimize all. Etienne and Lucina. So Nell is going to have Sigurd. Chloe and Lynn is always a good one. But is there a better option at the moment for that? Not really. Marin and Erica, we've liked that so far. Louis can be good pretty much no matter what. <laughs> um, he is back to his base move of four. He doesn't get his um, boots that we gave him in the... Uh, in the main game, unfortunately. Who should you have? Who's going to have Ike? I kind of want it on Panette. Panette, since she's kind of a... Um, she's a bit of a glass cannon. So in this DLC, where we don't have as many options, Roy might be the right fit for her, to give her holdout. Roy! Ike! My turn. I'm gonna give you by left. Let's go. Ivy's going to take Celica. Celica. Vale, you're going to take Corin. Corin. Who are we leaving on the table? It's just Marth, huh? You have a better bond with Leaf. So maybe we will leave Marth on the table. Okay. Now inventory. We're going to immediately trade that to you. Gonna keep the silver lance and spear. Take an elixir. There's nothing else, right? Yep, just elixirs. And damn, only one men to get. So who's gonna have our men then? You can use B-rank staffs. You can use B-rank staffs. 
and you can use C rank staffs. So Damn. Nobody's going to be able to use Fortify then. Okay. That's fine. That's the choice we're making. You've already got a Recover and a Physic. Okay. So we both get a killing edge. I take Levin, she takes Armor Slayer. Totally makes sense. And then we should each have a silver. And then you have your silver daggers, and we're going to bypass on the card, I think. Alright, so well, let's let's analyze. How do these two compare and which one is going to be more beneficial to us? Less attack, higher hit, higher avoidance, higher speed. Crits less, by quite a lot actually. We'll, we'll keep the killing edge. set up just fine. You're set up. Yeah, I think Citrine with the lower weight L Thunder makes sense to me. The wind tones generally aren't too weighty in comparison to the other ones, so I think... Um, Citrine with Excalibur instead of Elwind is fine, I think, so we'll keep that. Yeah, I think they're set up okay. Veil, you've got your Obscurite. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, with Byleth, you can also use um, extra range in your magic because of Thursus. That combo is a really good combo. May half damage if carried, too. That's fun. And then, yeah, I think you've got what we want you to have, too. Spear gives you a ranged option. Okay, so everybody's got a ring, right? May as well double check. I've made mistakes in this DLC so far. Everybody's inventory is set up. Got quite a few people who can heal. Um, you know what I should do? We probably don't have access to Convoy, so... Hmm. 
Instead of one of these, do I want to take an elixir on you? You have an elixir. You and Ivy don't. I may regret that, but we have a couple people who have extra ones that can be traded around if needed. Ooh, I'm glad they gave you Steel Bow as well. All right, I think we're gonna call that good. Okay, Holy Stance is actually useful in these fights because everybody's corrupted. That's what I wanted to check. Hit an Avoidance plus 10 when using a Tome, or we could take Silence Ward. Ooh, you know what? You're going to take Silence Ward. And the reason is, is because, um, Cannoneers, many of them have that Silence option, so... Damn, we need to get you another skill, girl. How do you not have a second skill? That's wild. We use Gold Mary quite a bit. How does she only have one skill? <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. All right, last thing we need to do is look at order here. You'd be able to reach that guy, okay. And... Okay, unfortunately, Louie, you're just gonna have to be slow in this map. Okay, I'm going to get a coffee refill, and then we're going to do this map. Hold still, Divine One. I want you to watch each of your allies perish. While imprisoned, Alir has no weapons and cannot fight back. Be sure to heal as necessary to prevent defeat. Oh, cool. And by cool, I mean, that kind of sucks. Okay. Yes. I mean, what the hell are you supposed to be able to do here? I've essentially got, what, nine turns then? Because I'll have to just do an elixir each time? Okay. With pride. Make sure we know the range of the uh, these guys, huh? Tis I. All right, so your hit rate's gonna be garbage while he's on that tile. Understood. Get 
think I want you to finish this guy. Fifty fifty chance with decent chance of a crit, but nope, no dice. Don't worry. Very well. Those are the types of hit chances I want to see. go this way because you're slow. Probably putting you in a bit of danger doing that, but... The choice is yours. Problem solved. Was that sufficient? Hello, Divine One. So sorry that we were interrupted earlier. If you'd rather not fight, all you have to do is agree to come with me. Let me guess. You want me to turn over the six bracelets, too. Since you have the seventh, I'm sure you're eager to finish your collection. That's not happening. I'll stop you here. If he was able to... <sighs> if he was able to restrain Alir and take him to this prison cell. You're telling me that he wasn't able to get the fucking bracelets off of him? I am sure, sure. I would say the same in your position. Ah, <sighs> how tedious. I tire of these games, Divine One. Since you are father's most hated enemy, I will simply take what I need and then destroy you. We do not have to fight, Nil. There is still time. Time for what? Talk? We are well past that. Do you expect me to simply abandon my plans and surrender? Go back to being a failure? We can resolve this. Explain your plans to me. Help me understand. I intend to gain power and to kill you. That is all you need to know before you die. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
game. Wow, the hit chances. forget he doesn't have Cantor without Sigurd. He just so often has Sigurd that I always assume. What are those hit chances on this guy? Alright, that's gonna be a rewind, because this is gonna miss. You gotta be shitting me, bro. Alright, we'll see if he misses us. He's not going to, but that's gonna be a rewind. What do you have? Okay, so that's a crit weapon. Oh yeah, you don't have any ranged options. Great. None of those have any avoidance. Um, you can't do shit to this guy because you suck. God, you're terrible. You're fucking terrible and I hate that.
have an option. Um, probably should have moved her out of the corner. I've backed myself into a corner now. Hit chances are so much better than Ivy's for some reason. What's the fundamental difference going on here? We've got Divine Pulse right now too because of Byla, so that helps as well, but... Your deck's just that much better than hers? Dex 22 versus Dex 18. Alright, so it really is just a matter of, uh... Weight and base hit rate of these tomes? about that. These two together can kill you in one go every single round. So I can't even do chip damage if this guy isn't going to attack me. That's frustrating. That's really frustrating.
So it must have just been the avoidance that was making that hit so terrible, huh? Wait, what killed that guy? I feel like I missed something there. Let's be careful. How close do I need to be for restore? I hate that on this screen I can't just go to it to see what its range is. Is this going to be a bad call? You can't reach there, right? I'm still quite capable. I live to serve. Why is your damage different now? Do you have multiple... What is your deal, bro? Huh. Okay, so for whatever reason this turn... Okay, so it's the weapon. Um, I still can't survive. I can survive one more turn without having to use an elixir, so I'm going to? Wait, how much does it heal again? 30? I guess if the cannoneer goes after her too, she still goes down. Did I... 
I had the wrong weapon equipped. I didn't... Motherfucker! When you select the unit, that's the unit I want to do the action for, you fucking... Fuck you, game. So that's not the one she had equipped, so... Do you have a thing that makes me use a different weapon? Fucking don't care. This is fucking stupid. That's the one that doubles. This is what should have been equipped. And somehow it just changed it. Fucking great. Fuck me, right? Stupid ass DLC. Must, I must have equipped it somehow on accident, not realizing, but like, I, I must have put the, I must have put the dragon thing on. Alright, since this guy's not gonna attack, there's literally nothing I can do. Okay. This sucks. Not a fan. Defensive line here. This may be risky. Okay, so it was my mistake, right? I didn't see anything in here that would make me change my weapon.
do I risk having to do another rewind this early on? It's a possible rewind. Okay, you're probably going to be more effective attacking this guy. That guy's focused on picking these up. Hell Thunder, okay. Yellow is just his crit weapon. You have regular canter, so you can only get to here, which does put you at risk of death from a cannoneer. You don't have canter. Damn, dodging a 75. Okay, girl. That's what I like to see. Good night. As if I'd lose. Oh, dead. That guy's going after a chest as well. Um, wow, I thought more Don't people were coming at him, way. huh? <laughs> wow, okay. 
What a waste. I mean, I guess if that guy's not going to attack, I need to stop worrying about his attack. Because he's not going to attack. I keep on wanting them to line up for me, though, so I can uh, engage and get an attack in. If they line up... No. I was wondering, like, if they... Like, if I engaged... Uh, if I did Sigurd here, it wouldn't pass through here and put me there. I was just wondering if there was a way for me to put her into safety. <laughs> So I just didn't have to worry about her at all anymore. Fine by me. Broken spear guy, too. That may have been a better option. Excuse me. Didn't realize he had a spear. It's my bad. Um... Damn it, this guy's got range too. Damn, she keep... That's, that's good, that's good. Alright, you're the one with the armor slayer. Gang up on her, she might go down, but she can take one more hit from that guy, I think. Okay. It's a risk. It's only a 65. But I do love a fucking one shot. He's going to prioritize getting the chest. Out, you can oh, you're close to a one shot. Damn. 5% crit. It could happen. Cool, 
was it not? I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Bracken, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.